Hello everyone, this is Flying Cake here, and welcome to episode 7 of my Crash Ending Let's Play. Alright, so last time we went over to that place, um, the city. We just hung out with the city folk and everything like that. And we returned with loot, a lot of loot, like tons of loot. I put some of it away already. And, oh yeah, I added this one of the elevators I just put it here so I can kinda maneuver down I'm gonna remove this eventually and just kinda maybe lower that down so now I don't have this spot just stick it out like that I can create this create like a basement type thing Oh, also I gotta pick up my loot from this because it's still going it's always going <laughs> alright so uh, it just became morning though it looks like it's raining but I don't see any mobs and I don't see mobs the drops uh, I didn't think they despawn that quick okay so I w I've been thinking about this and I want to try to make the farm kind of like what I was talking about before uh, having this front section be the farm I was counting up the seeds and it looks like there's about like 58 ish let's see if we do this one two three four wait where am I five six seven eight okay and one two three four five six seven uh, that's 56 minus this one I think this is cooked already and minus this one so uh, there's 54 and what is that 53 because these are the same thing 54 55 56 57 and I don't remember seeing the potatoes in here so 58 and 59 I think I'm really hoping that is it but I didn't see anything else when I did my initial count. What is this con seeds? Okay, so that's a separate thing. But uh, that might be it. I'm just gonna say that's it. So 58. I might go for for 60, and then just uh, give something else more room. So. <laughs> That means this is going to be a pretty big farm. Wait, I'm thinking of how to do this though. So, I, the way I was initially thinking is I was going to have one side here and one side here, so 30 and 30. Then I was going to do the tree farm somewhere off that way. Um, I can also do it so that the farm is on this side, the regular um, seeds all that kind of stuff and then the trees all on this side and that would save me a trip from going all the way out there and then I can double up like I can go what eight blocks so eight eight and eight something like that I'm not sure uh, I'm gonna have to play with it actually I did play around with some of the agriculture or agri-craft whatever is it in here sprinkler sprink I guess not dang all right <laughs> I was thinking of using a sprinkler system but I guess that's not really an option um, hmm so the way I'm gonna do it instead yeah I, I think I'm gonna do one side and then the other side is gonna be the trees that sounds pretty reasonable so I am gonna go five blocks in the middle as a road just to give me room for other stuff I guess oops I have a shovel it's better off to use it so whoops it's not right and I'll be getting more dust because that thing is forever going and I have a lot of materials now that I can 
I can use. But I did try to collect some dirt. I was putting leaves into the, the canisters there. The wooden canisters. So the road would be like this. I'm gonna maybe pave, well, thought I heard something. I'm gonna probably pave this something and then put maybe grass or whatever right there. Oh, it cleared up. And my water is fine. I'm gonna put one more in there. That is good. Uh, I don't want to start it right off the bat. Maybe three blocks like that. Uh, actually four. Just to have a, a two walking area and then a space between. Yeah, I'm kind of picky. Don't hurt me. No bully. Alright. And I'm starving. Um... Let's check the bag, the magic bag. Aha! I love this thing. I can hold everything. And the funny thing is, if I get more gold, I can fit bags within bags. <laughs> so I could collect a whole bunch of bags and kind of just I maybe create an anvil and name them different things. Like this is the food bag, this is the um, whatever, weapon bag. I don't know. It sounds like a pretty good idea. And it would save me a lot of chest space as well. Just having it labeled. So I'm not sure how far I'm going to go out. Um, the typical water stream, I believe it's... It goes out eight blocks. Or eight. No, no, no. Seven block. One in the middle, three out. Um, let me test this out because I can't remember. And I need to know this. Whoa. That is an axe, sir. Let's see. Do I not have it anymore? Did I put it away? Aha. Okay, so it goes out one, two, three, four. So nine, basically. So four, 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 four. And I'm basing this around just like the one block of water. So how I would have it is, I would have it like this, one, two, four, and then I would have maybe a water stream somewhere along the lines. Now I, d I don't know if it works diagonally that way, because then the water stream would be in this spot right here. And then that should water all of this, but it seems like it's really far away. So I'm not exactly sure. Let me, I could test this out. I don't have to kind of guesstimate. I can take a bucket of water, put it in this corner, and bloop, 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 bloop. So it looks like it works, which is fantastic news. Alright, so I don't know if I want to... Do I want it to stay day or night? I might just go to sleep. I've been doing that more often now. <laughs> now that I actually have a sleeping bag. Let's see. So I would do half of whatever th whatever would be here and then half of that. So it'd go 15 blocks out. So 1, 2, 3, 4... 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. It's going to be a lot of dirt that I'm going to need. A lot. So then this... Oh, wait. Let me go to sleep. Go. Yes. Uh, I think that was a bad choice on my part. I should have waited for the mobs to spawn and then gone to sleep. For them, that makes the most sense, right? Because then I would fly around and grab the materials as soon as they spawn. And I wouldn't have to wait all night. That kind of speeds up the process. And I don't think I lose hunger and stuff when I'm asleep. This is 15, right? 
So then it'd be one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and five. So that's actually like right at the end. Maybe I'm just gonna uh, lower it a little bit. One, two, three, four, five. I mean, the water streams are gonna be kind of close together, but I'm fine with that. Let me grab that. Go back to this. Flip. And this area is gonna be my farm. I do need a lot more dirt though. It's kind of funny how it can hydrate it when there's like a big space in between. It just doesn't make sense. Minecraft, why do you do this? Why do you not make sense? And all of this should be hydrated, which is cool. Like it seems like you can't actually actually um use this unless it is um it is hydrated. So I'm gonna grab some stuff and it looks like I'm gonna need food pretty soon as well. So I have some seeds. I actually Oh yeah, I got them at the, the town. I was like, where did I get these from? I got that at the farmer's home. Ah, lovely tea. Scrumptious. All right. So I'm not really gonna put them in any particular order. I'm just gonna toss them there and wait for them to grow. So bloop bloop. Bloop, bloop. Uh, T. Bloop. Bloop. And grapes. What else? Wait. Well, I guess I gave myself a little more room. I. <laughs> I forgot I was going to put the dirt right here. I was like, why is this spot right here? Well, my bad. But, oh right, that's that's fine. I like the big space anyways. I can walk around and marvel my, my beautiful farm. So, uh, I do need some more of this. I'm just gonna fill these up. I wonder if I can do this. I only have five. Uh, how do you make them? I need two lead and a copper? No, I need glass. I can't remember. Item duct. Duck. Item duck. Tin and, okay, I don't need glass at all. So 10, 10, 10, 10. I don't have 10. Now I do. <laughs> oh, I forgot about that. I hope a lot of items did not despawn. That'd be quite troublesome. So I can do this. Uh oh. Okay, let me toss these in there. Okay. That got tons of tin. Nope, that one's full too. And this chest is basically full. Let me condense it down, condense this one down, and take it stack. Good. So I do need to do something about that. It's kind of annoying. So let me let me search this up. Omni, oop, there we go. Omnidirectional hopper. So I need the compressed iron and this, and I think I can make it. If that's all I need. I I could definitely make it. So one, two, three, four, five. I do remember how to make it though, so that's great. It's very easy, but it just seems a little sketchy when you're first doing it. Um. 
Did I take that hammer out? I don't think I did. So take the hammer. Just beat up some rocks. Cobble. Get some gravels. And break that down even more. And if you were perceptive, you can tell I was making TNT. Now, why would I why would I make TNT in order to do stuff like this? To progress. I don't know. I just don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright. Anyways, let's go ahead and continue this. Um I guess I'll do it in a higher elevation since this is gonna be going down anyways. But what you do is put some TNT down and bag. I don't have any. I'm gonna put that stuff away. Yeah, I can put stuff away. I forgot the tin, didn't I? No, no, it was cooking. But I need to go back anyways. Here's some rice, thank you. I'm gonna take these out. I'll go grab the tin. And then I'll just oh, I can't do it there. Um where are you? It might be in this one. Found it. Alright, so what I want to do is do something really silly. So I'm going to throw some trash in there. And it, it actually says in the quest book as well. So let's go to under pressure. Alright, so... All right, I, su I suggest going a little way from your base for this one. Dig a hole, drop the iron in it, and place the TNT next to it, and ignite the TNT and then stand back. When the smoke clears, you should now s have some compressed iron. Yeah, that happened. Um, So, very simple. It just seems a little odd that I have to do this, but it, it does work. So I'm not going to say, no, I'm scared to try it. It's just a little odd. So I'm going to put that there. Um, put the iron in the hole. Flick. Walk away. Kablooey! Yeah. And smoke clears. And ta-da! The cool thing about this is because it's a quest, I actually get some back. So, yay! You know I should have done this <laughs> a while ago. It would have really helped out. And you'll see why in a second. So let me put all this stuff away. This stuff just collects like crazy, like mad. I might even put that outside. So let, I'm gonna break it. I don't care. Okay. So. Where's a good spot? Maybe right here? Like that? I don't want it too close to my base. I just uh, I just want to put it somewhere. Then I will toss all these out. Just momentarily. And... Where did I put it? Bag of holding? Yes. Ah, of course. Get out of my way. Thank you. It's getting late. So I am going to put this right here. And then, one of those chests. Let's see. How do I do this? Um. I don't want to use the chest like that. Maybe something like this. Oh, and I'm running out of water as well. Alright, let's fill up. Okay. 
next I want to put some dust there. I guess I'll open this back part up because I'm gonna have to block this. And I'll I'll do it too high. Alright. So here's what's gonna happen. Come up here. No. Come over here. And I'll make one of those omnidirectional hoppers that you saw. I'm not sure how to place this though. Like that? Yes. Awesome. So that's all that's all there is to it. And watch just watch this. Oop, not the book. I do realize it's night time, so I am going to go to sleep pretty soon. Because <laughs> I have this open. Just mobs start spewing in here. See how easy that was to make? Why didn't I do it before? So watch this. See the item instantly disappears. Not instantly, but close enough. <laughs> and then it ends up in here. So, yes. That is great. I'm going to check out the spawns. And then I'm going to jump. And just Oh man, they're stepping all over my farm. How rude. I'm not happy with the quality of these mobs. Okay. A little better. Good night, world. <clears throat> I'll see you in the morning. And I'm back. All the mobs are dying. I'm gonna put some more of this in there. Right clicking helps. Crap. You stay away. Stop it. Um, that is some good progression at its best. Did I get the tin? I don't think I got the tin. I don't remember getting it. I did. What did I do with it? Aha. Okay, so this, this, and this. It's more of a pain to get it out, though. Why does this one take it so long? Oh, it's not full. Here you go. <laughs> here's a here's a grape. It'll taste like a little bit of grape. The cool thing about this is I can do this, but I do need to do this. Whoops. And I need to add a power source. I don't I don't have any more servos so that works out look at that it's filling up and there is a way I can just put some on the side or on the bottom and that will take out the items but I'm not gonna do that not right now so let's get some more water and let's go check out our farm again oh man oh stab it The spiders, man, <laughs> they just don't quit. So I could go right there. How are you doing? Not too shabby. Oh, I never got the items out. Well, let me just fly around really quick.
a lot of flesh, but I can also use this flesh as a, a combustible stuff. Compost, I mean. What happened here? And there you are. So, 11 more dirt. That's not too bad. A little more farm added. Actually, I can move the stuff over that's over there now. I have a shovel. I have to keep reminding myself that. I have a shovel for a reason. Alright, so my original farm is finally coming down. It is going down to that area over there. It's a sad sight. I've had this farm ever since, ever since I was here. The very beginning. And I should actually not let this water flow everywhere I can see it happening now it goes down there torch is gone cleanup not so fun I wonder what would happen wow that is some glitch It'd be a shame if someone were to abuse that. I'm not going to abuse it. <laughs> but it's there. Like, I can do my entire farm that way. I don't want to destroy the... Ooh, tea. So look at that. I don't even have to use something underneath it. I could just grow it all in the air. That's how extreme this is. I don't know what kind of planet this is, but it's pretty cool. It's very dry, but cool. Give me that. So that got us 26. And that means... A good portion of this is going to be covered up. Not all of it, unfortunately, but that is a good starter. I'm going to be getting more dirt. There's probably some more dirt already ready to be harvested. My character is hungry, so I'm kind of slowed down. He just needs to quit complaining and work harder. But the cool thing about what I'm doing now is is this. Alright, so the reason I had this little section over here is because I wanted to bone meal it. And the bone meal does a very magical thing. Let me plant some of these seeds first. So I don't have enough for two more grapes. Um, tea I don't have yet. No, I do. <clears throat> All right, I'll take the. Wait, okay, that can eat that pretty soon. Cantaloupe, soybean, rice, barley, rice. Okay. All right, let's go check this out. Here is why I was pretty excited about this have some more bone meal. I'm going to need a lot. And ploop. Yeah. So right off the bat, I already have three three new saplings that I do. Actually, I have an orange sapling. I have new saplings. But that was like immediate. And that only took one bone meal, which is crazy. So I don't have another chest. So I'm going to create a chest. 
and I'm gonna put it right next to it this is gonna be my little harvesting area A dragon fruit but that's not the only thing Ooh, vanilla bean see I can also get seeds I can get different seeds here so there's already a mushroom and cranberries and then two more trees more trees there's some grapes oh wow wild grapes give you a lot Uh, torch. That's what I was looking for. I was also looking at my hunger. So this is how wild grapes taste. Delicious. But anyways, guys, I'm going to be doing this for a while. I'll just be getting different kinds of trees, different kinds of... Um, look at that. Wild blackberries and strawberries. Yeah, I'm just going to be collecting a whole bunch of different kinds of plants here. And... Uh, uh, populating my farm over there. I'm gonna have to get a lot more dirt because this is not gonna be enough. But anyways, I will see you next time. Until then, bye!